Good day, viewers. Welcome back to Aliphatic Teaches. Today, we are going to be looking at modular arithmetic in our mathematics class. A modular arithmetic is a system of calculation in mathematics. Modular arithmetic is telling us when two objects, when two distinct objects are congruent, that is, they are equivalent. Before we venture into this proper, if you have not subscribed to this channel, kindly do so and click the notification bell for my subsequent classes. Now, modular arithmetic can be used in any time. You often time, you will always listen to people saying 13 o'clock or 13 hours, 16 o'clock, 17 o'clock. This modular arithmetic can be used in turning time. Let's take for instance, when we have a clock like this, 12, 1, 2, back to 12. And looking at this clock, this is from 1 to 12. If we want to say 1 o'clock, we can actually say 13 o'clock. That is, this clock is of 10, which we call modulo 12. Modulo 12, go from 1 to 12. So when we say, how many 12 can we say in 13? Actually, it is 1, remember 1. So we come back to this one. So when we say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, then we have 13. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So from here, 13 o'clock is congruent to 1 in modulo 12. Likewise, we can see 15 o'clock is equivalent to 3 in modulo 12. In mode 12. Now, looking at this, we can see what modular what modular arithmetic mean. It means equivalent. When two objects are equivalent, 15 is equivalent to 3. Now, what of if I replace this 12 with 0? Looking at this, I've replaced this 12 with 0. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Then I will have 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, then I have 24, and so on. Definitely, which means that 12 is equivalent to 0 in mode 12. Likewise, 24. So any multiples of 12 would be equivalent to 0. So this can also be used for any, mo any modulo, like modulo 4, modulo 5, or any modulo. It can be used to calculate any of it. Example 1, find a number which results from the following additions on the number cycle below. So this is the number cycle. In what modulo? 0, 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4. This is the modulo 4. So we want to find the addition of this. So we have the first one, 2 plus 9, which can be equals to. So 2 will be equals to. So this is 0, 1, 2. So you are going to count 2, starting from this 0, 1, 2. So we have 2 is equivalent to 2, plus then 9. This is 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Equal, equivalence to 1. So 2 plus 3 is equals to 2 plus 2 plus 1 is equals to 3. Meaning that 2 plus 9 is equivalent to 3 in mode 4. In mode 4. Likewise, B, we have 3 plus 17. 3, this is 0, 1, 
2, 3. 3 is also equivalent to 3, plus 17, 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Equivalence to 1. So 3 plus 1 gives 4. But this 4 cannot be written because this is in modulo 4. And in modular arithmetic, we deal with the remainder. That is, we now see this 4 goes in the modulo 4. 4 divided by 4 gives 1. Remainder, 0. It means that 3 plus 17 is equivalent to 0. So 3 plus 17 is equivalent to 0. The third one, 1 plus 24. Now for the 1, this is 0, 1. So it's 1 is equivalent to 1 plus 24. When you start counting, this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So when you move around the clock, 24 is equivalent to 0. So 1 plus 0 gives 1. Definitely, 1 plus 24 is equivalent to 1 in mode 4. So this is mode 4. Example 2 reduce 55 to its simplest form, A, modulo 3, B, modulo 4, C, modulo 5. So we have the first one. We want to reduce 55 by modulo 3. So we say 55 divided by modulo 3. So 3 goes in 55. In 5, we have 1. In 25, we have 8. That is 24. Remainder. One. So which means 55 is equivalent to 1 in modulo 3. The second one, B, 55 divided by 4. 4 goes in 5, we have 1. Put in many more, you make it 15. 4 goes in 15, we have 3. That is 12. Remainder, 3. So which means... 55 can be, will be equivalent to 3 in mode 4. And the third one, 55 divided by 5. 5 goes in 55, we have 11, remain that 0. So 55 is equivalent to 0 in mode 5. So this is how to understand the rudiments of modular arithmetic. So, if you are a new member on this channel, kindly click the notification bell after subscription for my subsequent classes. Then that will get more of the interesting class on the addition and subtraction and the multiplication and the division. I will see you in the next class. Thank you.